competition in 2022. It has been a very painful three days. With 20 teams from all across India competing against each other with all their weight. Following months of preparation and effort of the entire organizing committee, we stand before you to express our deepest gratitude and pleasure at the successful completion of the event. The mock proposition for this edition was drafted by Mr. Shani Kunos, Legal Officer, Clearing Corporation of India, Bombay. It was concerned with the generation of credit worthiness by credit information companies and the issue before the Honorable Court was whether such data mechanism was equitable or arbitrary. Now, before we proceed with the ceremony, let us invoke the blessings of the Almighty with a soothing rendition by Prana Pudera.
he was in the border studies as well. He has agreed, in spite of his several multifarious activities, to be here with us. And the students who have participated must have learned a lot from his interventions during the course of the final period. Uh, Sir, on behalf of the CMA School of Legal Studies, on behalf of the Board of Governors, and the uh, Academy Council, I have given it a great pleasure to remind you. I request you to punish you. I also welcome Honorable Justice Sri B. A. Pati, Professor Ashri Pati, former Judge High Court of Karnataka. He has served in distinguished capacities as a district judge and served even as a registrar, of which we will come to know a little later. All of them will be introduced to you. Sir, we are honored to have you. On behalf of the CMR group of institutions, I warmly welcome you to this We have the chairman today for the function, Sri KC Nathalie, the treasurer of the Dan Adar Trust, who, in spite of his busy, tight, and heavy schedule, has accepted us and agreed to decide to the function. So, we welcome you and we welcome you to the next question. We have here with us Dr. Kuri, the Richard of the Sigma University, who has agreed to meet us, who is with us as always. And there is no need to mention one telephone call if you just inform him, he will be with us and has been helping at every end of the for the growth of this institution. Sir, we are honored to have you and interested. We have here with us the Academic Dean, Sujya Benek, who has agreed to be with us and sitting just in front of us, Madam Vivya Gandhi. Further, 
his lots of work as a part-time faculty member in University College of Law, Dharva. Later on, his lordship was directly appointed as district and sessions judge in the year 2008 and served as additional city civil and sessions judge Bengaluru as well as principal district and sessions judge Bagalpur and Urubi. His lordship also served as principal city civil and sessions judge Bengaluru. Later, his lordship was appointed as an additional judge of the High Court of Karnataka, Bengaluru on 4th May 2020 and permanent judge on 25th September 2021. I now request his lordship to kindly address the gathering.
knowledge regarding the law. Therefore, I, my sincere request for all uh, law students is to choose litigation side practice. This is uh, the second time I am coming over uh, to the CMR University as a judge in the mode of competition. I thank uh, Professor Sheshadri for inviting me and uh, the other faculty members. I thank the organizers for giving me a to address you all. Thank you. Thank you. Judge, High Court of Karnataka. His lordship enrolled as an advocate in 1984 and joined the chambers of his father, late Sri N.J. Desai, where he practiced in civil as well as criminal matters. His lordship joined the judiciary in 1992 and subsequently also worked as an assistant draftsman and ex officio deputy secretary to the government of Karnataka, Department of Parliamentary Affairs and Legislation. Vidhan Sada In the year 2009, his lordship was promoted to district judge. His lordship also worked as an assistant director, deputy director, and a senior faculty member at the Judicial Academy, Bengaluru. And is also a trained mediator from the Bengaluru Mediation Center. Additionally, his lordship served in the High Court of Karnataka as secretary to the Honorable Chief Justice. Additional Registrar General at High Court of Karnataka, Dharwar Bench. His Lordship was appointed as an additional judge, High Court of Karnataka, Bengaluru, in 2020, and permanent judge, High Court of Karnataka, Bengaluru, in September 2021. I now request His Lordship to kindly say a few words. Thank you, my Lord. The my brother is here. Sister is somewhere and uh, our senior judge, Justice A.V. Chandrasekhar, Justice P.A. Party, Dean of this uh, great institution, Professor T.R. Subramanian, uh, who was my teacher when I was in law school at Harvard, and uh, Professor Raneshwaran, director, Professor Praveena Kuzista and uh, C. Kuzista, the treasurer of this institution, the faculty members, my dear friend, students from this college and also participants from other college, print and electric media, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I am very delighted and privilege to participate in this Food uh, Court Foundation. Because when I was in uh, law school, University of Dharwar, I also participated in an uh, international Food Court Foundation, which was held at Pandichai. At that time, there were only two Food Court Foundations. One is Bar Council of India, and there is an international Food Court Foundation. And in Karnataka, there were only four uh, universities, and universities used to send only one day. From Kanakaka University, Madam, then Bangalore, Mysore. Entire state is represented only by four teams. Nah, but uh, things have changed, of course. Change is the nature. Everything has to change and it is changing very fast. Days are changed. As my brother, Justice Samarana, told you, those are the days, very hard days. But now you are very passionate. You have got uh, all modern. Uh, uh, technologies because of uh, this information technology and uh, use of artificial intelligence. Nowadays, uh, students are very sharp. You have seen their uh, memorials, you have seen their presentation. And I did not tell you about the purpose of the book of competition. Of course, it is uh, contemporary nowadays. There are law schools in almost all the uh, halutas, not only in districts, it is there. Halutas. Not only one, there are two, three colleges, law schools are there in some colleges. And each uh, college, I think it's a part of curriculum to have a book course uh, for students. The idea is to inculcate a self-confidence in you 
and uh, so that uh, you cultivate a habit of working the case right from uh, your school days. So that you can accept. There are a few points which you have to learn from uh, participating in board court. And uh, of course, nowadays uh, uh, you can also see the arguments. Even in Supreme Court and High Court in YouTube, things are changed. You can watch the important cases being argued by very learned advocates. Those advocates don't have all these facilities earlier.
sitting here with the Court of Karnataka, Honorable Mr. Justice D.A. Party, former judge of the Court of Karnataka, Mr. K.C. Jagannath Kitty, the treasurer, our beloved dean and inspirer of this institution, Professor Dr. Subramanya, uh, Dr. Vijay Praneshwaran, director, Dr. Praveen, our registrar, distinguished universities, guests, respected members of the teaching faculty, and my beloved students and participants from various law colleges. It gives me immense pleasure to be a part of this uh, national moot court competition. <coughs> Friends, our honorable, Mr. Just, our honorable judge, Mr. Justice Shushankar Amar and Amar has stated that things have changed. Yes, things have changed for better. How, what were those, what was the position earlier? The position earlier was the choosing of the legal profession for, as a lost result. But now, brilliant students opt for this career. Many of them intend to become practitioners, law practitioners, and exuding that talent and talent and mighty course. And few, for various, few various reasons may offer other venues like multiple multi corporations and legal companies. But see, gone are those days when a law college used to be in a corner of a building in a university and part-time lecturers used to be the Lawyers used to be the part-time lecturers. Somehow, they used to come to the profession. With some difficulty, they would come up. Only few of them would come up. Now, things have changed. There has been a metamorphic change in the legal education, especially after the introduction of five years course. The Pitamaha was uh, Dr. Madhavan. He said, in, in this hearing, you will have to remember him because of the introduction of a very novel scheme for imparting legal education in India, as a result of which good law, law schools have come and uh, national law schools have come and law schools which are in no way lesser than national law schools have also come. Take for example this, whole, this very institution, after, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Subramani and uh, many of our uh, uh, teachers have acquired doctorate degrees and have, and it is because of the inspiration of Dr. Subramanya they have been able to march ahead. And this is a very healthy development. And today, this, uh, this is a world of competition. And how to compete? We just witnessed the drama in the court hall. See, wonderful presentation. Who wins will not be of much relevance. Because it's only an edge over one party will be the yeah, 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 team will have a little edge over the other party will be successful. It doesn't mean that the first the team which gets the second place is the second in all aspects. Friends, young students, 14, 20, 18 years, 19 years, 20 years, very important propositions, not propositions based on facts, disputed facts. Uh, based on undisputed facts that to be although before the effects court invoking the article, an uh, extraordinary article 32 of the Constitution of India. You know, see this 30, article 32 of the Constitution of India is one of the basic structures of the Constitution of India as enunciated by the Constitution bench in uh, 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 in this case. What is it? The, the, the Parliament has got uh, all power to amend the Constitution, but it came into the added that basic structure should not be amended, it has no power. So, Article 32 is one of the greatest powers that the Supreme Court has in the Constitution has confirmed on the, on the Apex Court of India Article 32 and according to me, Article 226 uh, is, has a larger scope than Article 32 of the Constitution. In exceptional cases, the two way fundamental rights are provided, then one can invoke the you can invoke the uh, Article 32. But Article 226, different types of rights, including the four rights, orders and rights, including the four rights, can be given. Hence, these are all matters of great debate. You, you have been talking.
taught and you will be taught for a period of time while you are giving the nuances of the constitution. Friends, this was a very good competition and, the, and I must compliment uh, the authorities uh, in general and uh, Dr. Subramanian in particular for this uh, uh, excellent contact. I think it is not easy to get a very good book uh, in question. The good paper, in fact, has been so uh, meticulously planned uh, to invoke. Uh, it, uh, it is not ultimately whose case is acceptable. How a case is presented? What are the benchmarks? We have five benchmarks. For us, five benchmarks have been uh, formulated. On the basis of the same, we will evaluate it. So, friends, it was a wonderful uh, presentation. All of them, you had come, the, the, both the teams had come well prepared. I tell you, hats off to you uh, for your research into the, all the nuances, even in spite of uh, uh, repeated implementation by the judges. You could not, you didn't lose your balance of mind and you tried to answer every question, every query is very important. I'm very happy and uh, um, I wish all the participants a uh, wonderful uh, career. I think all the four of you should be very wise.
inside change. There are abstract terrorists. There are serious, serious offenses committed against the state, uh, like serious economic offenses, offenses against the state, offenses against uh, the scheduled cars, scheduled drives, women, children. So, that the theory of reverse burden. Not only in a criminal case, the burden is always on the prosecution to prove the guilt of the accused. And if, that, if the expected proof is not as used, the benefit of doubt will be given and the accused will be acquitted. It doesn't mean that the offense did not take place, but the expected degree of proof is not reduced, the benefit of doubt will be given. So, civil case and criminal case, the benchmark for assessment, assessing evidence is the same, but in a criminal case, a little higher degree of proof, that is, more than the preponderance of probability is required. But in certain cases, in certain special criminal statutes, for example, section 29 in the Pope's Act, if you see section 29 in the Pope's Act, or section 6A of the Denouement Prohibition Act, it appears as though the accused is to disprove. Whether it is to whether the accused is expected to disprove many constitutional uh, constitution bench decisions. No, the initial burden of proving the initial facts rests on the prosecution, and then, then only when the onus is shifted, the accused, the accused is expected to uh, rebut that onus burden, onus of burden. But now we say 138 of the Negotiable Instruments Act. 180, what does it say? If a negotiable instrument is issued, the presumption is that it is issued for consideration. So therefore, who want, if, a, if an accused wants to say that it was not issued for consideration, burden is always, he has to be that burden. These are all things you will come across in court, and I tell you, as an advocate for failures, and a jail for, jail for 17 and a half years, I can tell you, the most uh, gratifying and the most thrilling is the experience in the court. So, most of you can become lawyers, good lawyers, and you see, many teams have participated. Even the vanquished dream, I tell you, they do good and very well. But you see, the benchmark assessment, see, my assessment may be a little assessment, may be different from our honorable justice being this action. But ultimately, it all depends upon your order. This is my only request to all of you is your parents have taken a conscious decision to see that you are admitted to this great institution. Or you might have taken on your own. It's a, anyhow, it's a good decision. There is no shortcut for hard work. Burning the midnight oil is the only answer for achieving success in life. Legal profession is one of the most truly profession. It is a rewarding profession also. It's a rewarding profession also. With these words, I congratulate the participants. We respect you for the fact that I am not to be able to come to the final. This institution has done good work. They have done a lot of work to arrange this function. My only request is let us have a MOOC trial competition also, sir. KD College had organized. Young clients are doing a murder case. Wonderful. It's a case of section 302 murder or a turnover homicide amount. And how the disputed questions of facts were presented before the court. I hope we can organize. We have Bangalore is a good place to take good engage, take the services of the parties. I wish the participants all the best. Uh, all of you are uh, conscious, see, uh, waiting for the results. Results are ready. It, is, it will be announced without any further delay. Thank you. It is my honor to now introduce our next chief guest, Honorable Mr. Justice B. A. Bardin, former judge, High Court of Karnataka. His lordship enrolled as an advocate in 1983 and practiced at Dharwad. 
His lordship worked as a part-time faculty member at various law colleges and Karnataka University, Dharwad. His lordship was directly selected as district and sessions judge in the year 2002. His lordship has also been honored with the Aryabhata Award by the Aryabhata Sanskriti Sanskrit. His lordship assisted the Committee on Reforms of Criminal Justice System. And his lordship has undergone training on mediation techniques from the United States of America and is a trained mediator. His lordship was appointed as additional judge of the High Court of Karnataka Bengaluru in 2016 and permanent judge in November of 2018. I now request his lordship to kindly say a few words. Honorable Justice uh, Amaranda, Justice P.I. Desai, my senior colleague, Justice E.V. Chandrasekhar, my loving guru, Dr. Professor T.R. Subramanian, C.R. Jagannath Reddy, Secretary, Dr. Pradeen R. Rajasthan, the faculty members, my dear students, ladies and gentlemen. So now, this is the T24, that is the cricket. So here, there are 
two things that you should have to keep in mind. One is, we call in the court the learned lawyer. We will not call a learned doctor or a learned engineer. Why do we call the lawyer only as a learned lawyer? Because that he knows he is the master of all. If a witness from the that is uh, uh, forensic science comes, handwriting experts comes, or if a doctor comes, or an engineer comes, so he will prepare himself and comes and passes on and the argues on his behalf. So this is the work of profession. Very, that will be learning all the aspects. So that's why that uh, this profession is called as the learning lawyers. And uh, coming to this particular the new competitions. So earlier that my all the speakers have spoken in the regarding to what was the procedure and other aspects was there, and now that you are having that is uh, good. Facilities. But you must use the best facilities to develop your career. Nowadays, it is not only the knowledge of law which is required, but you must have a wisdom in it. I will quote one case illustration which has happened in the Supreme Court. A petition has been filed by the tenant and the learned counsel is started arguing. The judge was convinced on the facts and the tenant's petition was allowed. By that time it was a lunch hour. The judge also went for the lunch, the lawyer also went for the lunch. So when he resumed the court at the 2.30. He saw the same lawyer was sitting there. The judge asked him. So, morning that I have finished and you have a lot and the judge have won the case. No, no, the next case is mine. So, I want to argue in that case. So, the judge said, no, 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 this is a landlord petition. What argument we have advanced? The same, that is the facts are there. You are not having any case. And the lawyer said, my lord, that morning I argued and your lordship followed the petition. Your lordship went to lunch. I went to library. I started searching. I came to know that morning I was wrong. Now that I am right, I will argue the case. That petition was wrong. So this is the talent and intelligence and the wisdom that which the lawyer must have. By taking the situation that he has to that is convince the judge. So here, the profession of a lawyer is how, that is, how far you convince the judge that will make you to win the case. That capacity you must return. And I think that this illustration I will mean, this quote. A eminent criminal lawyer, he had been to a school as a guest. So here, he, was, he addressed the gathering. One of them is a girl, she stood up and said that lawyers are lies. So what do you say with regard to this? That was the question which has been posed to this particular the eminent lawyer. Then lawyer answered, so that you are the eyewitness in that case, I know. I have crossed the I have not lied. What I have done is I have, that is proved that the prosecution has not proved the case. As you know, in criminal law, the prosecution has to prove the case. If it fails, then the accused is going to get to death. So there is no question of lying anything. So here, he has won by his intelligence. By doing that, so here, the prosecution has not proved the case. So in this way, that the lawyer has to develop his individual personality, and attitudes and intellectual knowledge and wisdom. And uh, I congratulate to you all for having joined this great institution, so which is uh, headed by.
my Dr. Ramudi, I am my beloved uh, teacher, Dr. Tiyas Subramanya, and uh, that is a faculty member, so I also get a that is an eminent uh, knowledge and to develop your career from this institution. And uh, I thank uh, the organizers for having invited me as a mood judge and uh, guest in this. Uh, and uh, I congratulate the who has won the that is the first prize and the second prize and all those who have won individual that is the uh, rankings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of 
the Cinema National Report competition has always been in mind. I keep it a privilege. To move on. The last edition was an online move for us, which was rather unique. But yes, we missed the big hall, this huge crowd, and about everything, we missed this tense setting. The tense, the heart pounding of the participants. Success is no accident, it's hard work. Perseverance, learning, sacrifice, and most of all, love what you are doing. Ladies and gentlemen, the CMR 8 National Root Code Competition 2022 has turned out better than what we had planned for. We had two preliminary rounds of which eight teams made it to the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals was a knockout round and four out of them made it to the semi-final rounds. To tell you, the semi-final rounds, each court session during the semi-finals took two and a half hours. Now the teams who went to these dream sessions were University Law College Bangalore, Symbiosis Law School Pune, Shastra Bhutan University, and Chennai Doctor Ambedkar Law College. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a few hours. Yes, from there we had to select two who made it to the finals. The finalists, which included the finalists were the team from Shastra D2D University as well as the Chennai Dr. Mitra Law College. We should thank the others bench which brought out the best that they had to offer. The team from University Law College Bangalore as well as Symbiosis Law School Pune needs a special mention because they had a commendable job done during sales. <laughs> Moving on, before announcing the results, I take this opportunity to thank the entire student organizing committee led by Natasha. the 
So if you guess, do the answer first. We have Reva University, Bangkok. The participants are Pramila Zander, Ara Krishnan, Suraj Sunil. From Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology, we have Sanji, Prasanna K, and Pardik S.
From Sikhita College Pune, we have Mansi and Ashwini Nair. From Sabya School of Law, we have Vaishnavi, Shiva Shankri, and Jay Shri. Good. 
of 10,000 each. Yes. The much awaited moment. The winners and the runners. The winners get a cash award of rupees 30,000 and a trophy. The runners get a cash award of rupees 20,000 and a trophy. To the, to the honors, I request Honorable Mr. Justice Shiva Shankar Amaranavar, Justice Judge Aikodu Karnataka. I also request Jagnan Reddy Sir, Secretary Siyama Nandana Trust. To join we've seen vibrant arguments, submissions, pleadings, and we've also seen a new new line of arguments before the honorable court. It was tough from the semis to the finals and even the final.
finals in that game. And another common thing about all the honorable judges is all have served as trial court judges, and that would, that's the charm of the trial. With that, encouraging all students to start their practice in the trial courts. I give this vote of thanks on behalf of School of Legal Studies. We would like to express our deeper thanks to our Chief Guest, Honorable Mr. Justice Shiv Shankar Amin Nawar, Judge High Court of Karnataka, for having accept, accepted our invitation to be the Chief Guest and delivering an insightful address, and also for having judged the finals of the CMR A National Moot Court Competition 2022. Thank you, Your Lordship. I request Shri K. C. Jayanath Reddy, Secretary CMR Canada Address, to kindly hand over the moot court to the Chief Guest. We are grateful to Honorable Mr. Justice P. Nessa, Judge High Court of Karnataka, for being the guest of honor before having judged the finals of the competition. Thank you, Your Lordship. I request our Secretary to kindly hand over the memo to the guest of honor. Thank you, Your Lordship. Thank you, Your Lordship. Thank you, Your We are grateful to Honourable Mr. Justice A. Chandrasekhar, former Judge High Court of Karnataka, for being the guest of honour and for having judged the final of the competition. Thank you, Your Lordship. I request our General Secretary to kindly hand over the memorandum to the guest of honour. We are grateful to Honourable Mr. Justice B. A. Patan, former Judge High Court of Karnataka, for having judged the final of the competition and also addressing and how. Well, relating it to T20, thank you, Your Lordship. I request our Secretary to kindly hand over a memo to the guest of honor. We thank our Honourable Chairman Shri K.C. Ramuthi, Member of Parliament, Rajya Sabha, and Chairman CMR Group of Institutions for his guidance and supervision. We thank our beloved Secretary Shri K.C. Jayanath Reddy for presiding over this function and delivering the presidential address. We thank Dr. Praveen Registra, CMR University, for his continued cooperation. We are also thankful to Dr. Suja Bennett, Dean Academics, CMR University, for her August presence. We thank our beloved Dean who has been heading us and taking us forward for having organized such wonderful events and seminars. Thank you, sir. We also thank all the trustees of CMR Nyanada Rattas and all the governing body members for their August presence. We thank all the distinguished invitees and advocates present for accepting our invitation. We thank all the participating colleges and their team members for taking part in this national competition. At this point, I would also like to mention our swing team. Our swing team is where we have quite a number of participants. We have to put one team from the host so that they give a tough competition. In fact, our swing team had the qualified for the quarters, but since we don't allow them to progress, we have to remove them. They could have spoiled the, the uh, chances of uh, whoever team they had uh, fought against. So, thank you to the swing team also. We thank all the deans, principal, directors, heads of department, faculty, and staff of CMR Group of Institutions and CMR University for their assistance in making this event a grand success. We thank the printing and electronic media for their wide coverage of this three-day event. Finally, I thank all the faculty and student volunteers of all the committees for tirelessly working to make this event a grand success. Thank you all for your attention and your service. We have not gone to our first time this competition. Thank you.